can see your whole area, that rain coming down on the roof, and uh, yeah. apparently it's going to be like that for a few hours yet. Yeah, yeah, we, um, we're kind of under the, the meat of it right mm -hmm. now, if you will. We're kind of seeing the strongest rainfall making its way through the greater Mankato area at this point. But we're not done there. As you can see, looking further out towards the west, plenty more rain coming throughout the rest of the evening. Now, I mentioned a little bit earlier the good news about this, if there's any good news, if we can come up with some good news, the good news is that we're not looking at a ton of severe weather as far as severe thunderstorms throughout the rest of the evening. That's definitely going to be good news so we can really focus all of our time and energy on the flooding potential across most of our area. Our rain gauge here at the station in North Mankato continuing to click. The last time I checked, we were receiving over a half of an inch um, in the span of 20 minutes. That's some pretty intense rainfall um, to be able to see over a half of an inch um, that quickly. So definitely going to be some really impressive rainfall totals once it's all said and done. Right now we have just about all of our counties included in a flash flood warning. Now each of these flash flood warnings kind of have different start and end times. If you're curious about the one closest to you, um, definitely check out the app or on our website to be able to see exactly when you'll look at those um, timings for these. But as we can see, it's even kind of hard to see on the radar here, but I'll kind of trace the outline here. All of these counties are all included in that flash flood warning. It's going to continue this way and all the way up there. So Nicollet County excluded other than North Mankato um, and Brown County excluded from uh, those warnings. Also Sibley County excluded and Renville. Just about everyone else though I believe is included in some kind of flash flood warning. So definitely going to be watching that very closely as we continue through the rest of the evening. We can see where this heavier rainfall continuing to push this way. But as we can also see here, it looks like the lightning bolts are starting to calm down a little bit. That's not necessarily the case for northern Iowa. Northern Iowa continues to kind of see a little bit more of those thunderstorms than those of us in southern Minnesota. In general, we could see a couple more inches of rainfall throughout the evening. We'll probably get a little bit of a break in this rainfall as we get into tomorrow morning and into the early afternoon. But then after that, another line of some showers and thunderstorms making its way through um, from west to east. And that's going to be a little bit more of a structured, organized system, more like what we're usually used to seeing as far as that line making its way west to east. But that's also going to be something we're tracking very closely. The other good news is that we're not really looking at much of a severe weather potential for tomorrow. So that's going to be helpful, but really all attention is on the flooding potential. I can't say it enough. Um, just be sure that you are not driving through any of this water if it's over the streets. You don't know if that street is still there underneath it. That's something that does does happen when we see this amount of rain on the ground. So that's definitely something to be worried about. Saturday, a couple of showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon. We'll see a few isolated showers carrying over into Sunday. And then after that, fingers crossed, hopefully we will finally see a little bit of a break from the rain. We'll let our grounds kind of have a, a couple days to catch up. But for now, remain weather aware um, and be safe tonight. For All sure. right, thanks, Emily. We'll be right back.